34K, baby. Look at that. We're just at 34K on YouTube. Shout out to you guys. Another day, it's Friday. I don't know how it's Friday already. We've done a lot of customer interviews today. No, this, we've done a lot of customer interviews this week. It's funny because a lot of the platforms that these people use, I thought the large majority of all these people I talked to would be like, yeah, WhatsApp, 100%, like, this is the thing. Originally, I thought it would be like Telegram. And like, sure, we've had a few people on that. But what's so funny is the overwhelming amount of people who have booked meetings with me and talked to me about their Slack communities. Holy moly. So anyway, yesterday, figured out the super sick integration on WhatsApp where I can scan the code, it runs the virtual instance temporarily, uh, it like authenticates, create a new channel, add my bot phone number into the group, sets an admin, sets some permissions, and then shuts down the instance. Super sick, like technically wise, pretty happy with it. And I've still got some work to do on that to like finish that integration up. But now with all these people being like, yo, Slack's like, ready to go. There's a part of me that goes strategically, I actually should potentially put that like PR on pause, save all that up to GitHub, which I already have, and then just like check out into another branch to do the Slack integration first. I just think that could be potentially more valuable. This morning I've got, I've actually blocked out like five hours. I've got to block out my calendar now. I've never had to do that because people keep booking meetings with me. So yeah, you can only book meetings in the afternoon on my calendar now. We've got like five hours. I'm gonna see if I can smash out the Slack integration. If we can do that, then subs go into the moon, baby. Oh, there's someone on the window up there. Oh, I sh should also say, I just got an email this morning that my Discord bot has just been approved. So that means that we can scale past the 100 servers. I got an email a few days ago uh, and it was like, hey, by the way, this thing, you know, someone here from like Discord support, your bot is in like 100 servers already. So we're just going to cap that and like you need to do all this stuff. That was the stuff I was doing on the couch at like 7 in the morning. Anyway, they finally approved and they were just like, yep. Looks good, good to go. Now we can scale. So Discord's good. We don't even worry about that anymore. But yeah, that was definitely something that was playing on my mind a little bit. Cause I was like, man, if that gets bad, what do I do? So yeah, we're good. We're good. So many people think of it as like transactional. And like, I don't understand why community would ever be transactional. Courses are transactional and paying for something. And in return, you get access to it. What's going on here? They're like closing off the street. But like, think about it. If there's like a place that you can find your people in your community, like, that is so powerful. Like, I don't know why. Yeah. Do you want do you want coffee? I want coffee. Okay. Yeah, anyway, just a couple of thoughts. I think there's definitely a huge opportunity to help other people find their people, which is what community really should be, not an afterthought from a course. I don't know. I agree with that. And the sub card, baby. Sub's paying this morning. Flat white to go and a ice latte. Yeah, thanks. Jacob, thank you. One more thing that I love is like how positive the channel is. Like so many, I, I go on like Reddit and I have to leave instantly because it's so negative. But like on my channel, like all the comments are always so positive and if anyone ever like says anything, even on like X that's like negative, everyone's just like, dude, like get out of here. Like this is all about like good vibes, you know? So yeah, people just want to find their people, you know? Super stoked that the whole channel is like just super positive overall. Like you don't get a lot of that in the dev world. It's very like, you aren't good enough. We're here, it's like, you can come as you are. Of course, Pave beat us in. King Pave. What the hell's going on with this chair? What, what is this? <laughs> I figured out how to build the Slack bot. It's actually wildly simpler than the WhatsApp integration that I did yesterday. Pretty much all the work I did yesterday on WhatsApp is like eight times the work that I need to do for Slack. It's very similar to the Discord one where essentially I've just got my service, which holds my Slack client, and I'll have just like an array of different clients that my bot is underneath. And then that's just giving access to different users based on their customer subscription, which, just, which is just another model in my database. So that's, I actually think, I'm gonna challenge myself to see if I can get Slack integrated by the end of day today. I've got meetings all afternoon, but I think it actually might be not too hard, so. Let's do it. He's building like in real life community stuff. Very similar to what I'm doing, but just the more focused on in real life. So super interesting. He's not technical, but he's based in Lisbon and also London. And he's got heaps of connections in the VC world as well. So it's like a weird thing where like potentially you've got in real life and then you've got online. 
and like super cool contact because there's like who knows could come together build something together I don't know could be like such a fun way to just like dominate both sides so So Slack is integrated. We have a sub bot for Slack already. Let's go. It's a quarter to one on Friday. About to jump into a whole lot of meetings all afternoon. My calendar is looking, looking like this. One till five, just stack. One of those is thankfully a beer in West Village, so hopefully that'll be nice. But yeah, feeling good. We've got the bot already started. We've got stuff moving. All I need to do now is just connect it up in the same way that I have with my Discord bot, where when custom subscriptions come in, we just assign access inside Slack, and that's like V1. Then we can like go crazy on all sorts of things like applications and make the onboarding experience way better so people get into separate individual specific channels based on their interests and yeah, sky's the limit. So a whole lot of good stuff to do there. But yeah, feeling good. What's up, Sunday afternoon. It's been a great Sunday, honestly, like treating myself to not coding and just relaxing for a little bit, getting some headspace. But something that I've realized is that there is a key issue that's happening in maybe one in five times when a user subscribes to my personal dev club. And the reason that I'm noticing it is because it's obviously people joining my community and something isn't working quite right. Let me tell you what that is. So essentially when someone subscribes, what we're doing is we're sending them an email right now that gives them a unique Discord invite link. And so what we're doing is we're generating those on the back end when someone subscribes, we're saving that in a table alongside some like various information that we know about the user's subscription. And then when the user joins Discord, we're gonna look for the invite that was used, attribute it to that user, and then based on that, the bot is then going to assign them some premium roles. And in my case, it's just one role called the member role, which then allows them to see all the channels. Sounds all good in theory. And for the most part, it works really, really well until we start considering a few extra use cases. And these include if you already have an existing community. It's also if you already have someone inside the Discord and then they wanna upgrade. Upgrades, downgrades. Because the problem right now, current logic is listening to whether a user joins or they leave or anything like that. If we're doing it event-based, then there's a problem when we actually want to upgrade, downgrade, do anything with an existing community or anything else really. So that's an issue. And using like an event system, like just join the guild or just left the guild or wanting to upgrade or downgrade or do anything when they're already existing inside a community, now there's issues. But that doesn't actually lead me on to how I discovered this. And that's because for some people, their premium roles just weren't getting added. And I don't know why. It's super strange. I've looked in the logs. I've tried to figure out if there's been some like errors in the database or the back end that have been causing it, but nothing to any avail. I wondered potentially if it's a case of users are joining the guild, the Discord server, it's just the Discord's technical name for a Discord server, a guild, and then we're instantly trying to assign those premium roles. But I'm wondering if it's just the case where we need to set a timeout of like one or two seconds so that the Discord server can just realize the person's in there and then we can attribute the roles. Then we've still got those issues, whether you're inside the server already, if you wanna upgrade, downgrade, do anything from within a server, or you're in like a big server where there's other bots and there's other roles and there's other permissions that you've been given. We don't just want people leaving the server to come back, then they're gonna lose all their roles. Like how does that make any sense to a creator? So some changes need to be made and it's Sunday afternoon I'm not meant to be working I'm trying to relax but guys we have a hundred million dollar startup to build we need to we need to make this big we need to do the hard things when times get tough and so that's what I'm doing today I am adding and this is what I believe is the solution and going to make this a killer experience that is better from anything else out there which is an O auth experience now yes there's probably other people doing it but I think it's genius Here's why. When a user joins, in fact, let's sketch this out. So when a user joins and they subscribe to a dev club or any sort of community on sub, instead of them receiving an email that has a unique link to a Discord server, instead what we're gonna do is we're gonna scrap that and we're actually gonna send them from this email or literally directly after the checkout to an OAuth page. 
And what this is essentially going to do is allow them to sign in with Discord. This is instantly going to give us all the information we need on the user's ID. It's going to give us information on the user's current position inside a server, whether they already exist or whether they need to be added. And what we can do instantly is get this information, save it against our subscription that already exists in the back end right now, and now we know exactly who that user is that needs to be attributed those roles. From there, instead of waiting for a user to hit a dot on event in our Discord server, and then from there, that triggers adding the roles, instead of doing that, what we'll do then is we'll actually just say, okay, first of all, if the user needs to be added, we will not do an on. We will take this OAuth information and first add them. And then step two, we will attribute those roles. And what this allows people to do is now have servers that are already existing. They could have had these users for years already, but they just want to upgrade to a different channel and they want to attribute a new role. This is going to be game changing for anyone that's currently using the Discord implementation with sub. So definitely a very important thing to do. It's been on my mind for a while. I've been wanting to do it. I just didn't really think this deeply about how many extra use cases it could be beneficial for. I also just had an email from someone saying, hey, this is really cool, but also just doesn't really work for my use case. I've got an existing Discord server. Everyone's earned their roles and their status inside the server. And if they have to leave and then rejoin in order to get the premium sub role, that just doesn't make any sense. So with the bug going on where like one in five or one in six people aren't getting their roles because it's happening too fast and also this attribution system for existing servers being in play definitely a priority that i get this oauth sorted and so what that means is that we are now pushing slack and whatsapp back very slightly but i still have some big 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 goals to hit to get those implementations ready for real creators real big community people by the end of june We've got some big targets to hit. We've got some massive goals to achieve. And it's very overwhelming, but we can do it. So Sunday afternoon, we're going to crack in. I'm going to see how far I can get with this OAuth system. And we'll go from there. The week just started very early. <laughs> All right, let's get moving. Holy crab sticks. Man, that's sick. Guys, I have been working. I kid you not, since like 4.30 this afternoon. It's 8.30 right now, nonstop. I was out with Maddie, we're having drinks, we're having a calm weekend. I just successfully did an OAuth Discord grant. Now instead of receiving an email and you click a link and then it does this like hacky Discord invite check which one's been expired and everything like that, we actually send you to a landing page with a unique token. That's gonna then generate you a link that you, then you can authorize with Discord directly, OAuth style. Then that's gonna go back to the server, it's gonna come back and then eventually you're gonna get in and it's gonna give you your role. I can't even think anymore. But anyway, the point is it works. Let me show you. This is actually insane. So let me just log in. If I can freaking remember my password. Okay. Okay, as you can see, I am in currently one server. Okay, let's leave. Let's leave this server. This is my test server right here. So as you can see, I'm a loser. I have absolutely no servers that I am in. Alright. Now let's go back. I'm going to authorize. Ah, and there's an error. That's fine. Hang on, let me let me fix that. I know exactly why it's done that. Um, in fact, let me just double check that logic because that's freaking sick that that even worked just then. Nice, <laughs> sick. Not that. Set to null. Okay, let's try this again. So you're gonna subscribe. You're gonna get a link in your email, and then you're gonna come in and it's gonna send you to this like OAuth section. You're gonna authorize. Boom. Do a whole lot of stuff in the background, and then look at this. I'm in. And I've got my member role. Would you look at that? We have OAuth, baby. Which means it's so much more secure. There's like nothing that can go wrong. I've had a few cases where I had like different IDs on Discord being attributed to different people, which is not good, not what you want. So I had to like manually change them. This is gonna fix all that. So I'm freaking stoked. Okay, I think we can go to bed now, finally. Actually, no. Let me see if I can get this merged in, because I've got some massive creators going live this week. Holy moly. I'm not gonna, yeah, I'm not gonna lie. I was panicking this afternoon, thinking stuff's gonna break this week. But, we're good. We solved it. Four and a half hours. That's what I'm talking about.